Welcome to Parent Preview. Whether you are on campus or joining us virtually, we are so happy you're celebrating the new school year with us. Thank you for the tremendous support you have shown in regards to our reopening plan. This was written with much guidance from the Mobile County Health Department, local medical professionals, and our admin team. I encourage you all to read over that if you have not already done so. Please know this plan will continue to evolve as recommendations and guidelines are updated. Our goal is to be as safe as possible. We will not suggest that we can be 100% effective in every measure every time. That is why we have layers of precautions in place and will not rely on any one measure. Those layers include hand washing, sanitizing, masks, social distancing, cohorts, hydrostatic sprayers throughout the day and every room every night, and we are working on an incredible HVAC filtration system. One of the measures I mentioned is the use of cohorts. Cohorts will include the students, teachers, and facilitators for a grade level. We are being very mindful to keep cohorts separate throughout the day, beginning at carpool, in order to reduce the possibility of having to send more than one grade level home at a time in case of a positive case. We are using the definition of exposed given to us from the Mobile County Health Department. They defined exposed as if you are within six feet longer than 15 minutes to someone who has tested positive. If you have questions about exposure, symptoms, or protocol for quarantining, please get in touch with Nurse Julie. Please know if your child or their grade level must quarantine, we will shift them to the optional remote learning plan. A facilitator or the classroom teacher will check in daily and we will help make sure they do not miss a beat. Campus and carpool will look a little bit differently this year, but hopefully only temporary. We will not have morning care, but instead we'll take in at 730. Each student must be dropped off at their grade level gate in carpool line where temps will be checked and will begin our cohorts for the day. I know walking your little ones in is a special time, so we do appreciate you understanding that in order to remain open, we must be able to limit exposure. Morning and afternoon carpool gates are as follows. K4 and K5 will use the Azalea Road gate. First and second will use the gate in front of the courtyard by the biomed room. The third through fifth will use the red front doors. Preschool carpool will use the gym gate in the mornings. Afternoon carpool for preschool will begin at 2.40 and will be over at three o'clock. Please know the next group of students will enter that carpool area at three, so it is very important preschoolers are picked up by three o'clock or they will need to attend after school care. After school care will also be divided by grade level cohorts. So again, no mixing of grade levels. While we encourage everyone to be on time each day, there are situations where a student may come in late. If that is the case, the parent will sign them in and we will walk them to the classroom. Our goal this year is to remain open safely while providing the top-notch St. Luke's experience that means so much to all of us. We will keep you updated and revise plans as needed. We are looking forward to a great year. Go Wildcats! Good evening, moms and dads. Welcome to Parent Preview Night Virtual Edition. My name is Hillary DeArmond, and I'm the Director of Admissions on the Lower School Campus, and I'm also the Director of the Early Childhood Programs for K2 and K3. We are so excited that all of you could be here tonight. As we start this new year, I want to welcome 62 new students to our Japonica campus. We want all of our new students and returners to have the smoothest transition possible this school year. I know these are challenging times, so please give me a call or send me an email if I can help in any way. Our preschool teachers and assistants are looking forward to getting to know all of you, and I know they're excited to share tonight all of their information. But I wanted to take this time to thank you for your patience, your understanding, and taking the time to follow all the guidelines we have in place this year to keep our littlest Wildcats safe. There's also a packet of information that needs to be completed in your folders tonight. One of them is an affidavit that is for K2 through K5 students. Please complete those tonight and Miss Sandy will notarize those at a later date. And I'm confident when you leave here tonight, you will be assured that you have selected the best school in Mobile for your students. So thank you again for your time and welcome back Wildcats. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Nurse Julie. I'm the school nurse here at St. Luke's Episcopal School. 
and today I'm just going to touch base on a few topics. First being birth certificates. In case you haven't already, if you will, please send in a copy of your child's birth certificate by the first day of school. Next, immunization records. If your child has received any shots or their immunization records have expired, if you will please send in the original certificate and that way I can update them here at school. Next, gold sheets. Gold sheets you will be receiving today and if you will please fill out all the information. This is where you will list any allergies or medical conditions that your teacher and I need to be made aware of. Seasonal medicines, if you will, please still continue to give them to me instead of sending them in your child's backpack with a note. Um, that way I can fill out the proper paperwork and um, the permission forms in order for me to give them here at school. Um, also, seasonal medicines. I wanted you guys to be aware that I will not be able to be giving albuterol treatments this year for COVID reasons. The, the albuterol treatments with the mask. Um, if you still continue to bring in inhalers and spacers if your child needs those, um, bring them in like you would normally on the first day of school and we'll fill out that paperwork. EpiPens, the same. Bring them in and we'll fill out the paperwork. And then also seasonal meds, cough syrups, any of that sort, bring them in to me. And then also uh, a little tidbit I wanted you guys to know about BlackBot. If you guys can go online and you can update any medical information and then also personal information um, on there at your convenience. Thank you guys. Can't wait to see y'all soon. Bye. Good evening from the development office here at St. Luke's. I'm Diane McCleary, Director of Development, and I would like to share a few things with you regarding the role of our office in the life of our school. For those of you who are not familiar with the responsibilities of the development office in an independent school, we are the central hub for all fundraising efforts on behalf of the school. This includes athletic banners and signs, booster club events, the gala and auction, club and class fundraisers, Mother Oak Annual Campaign, any capital campaign, all grant requests, as well as any and all individuals and corporate solicitations made by any group for any school purpose. This year, more so than any other, we need 100% participation in our Mother Oak Annual Campaign by our parents. We are currently seeking and submitting grant requests to help us offset the added expenses of school operations in our current COVID-19 world. One of the most obvious needs is for upgraded technology and infrastructure to accommodate our entire St. Luke student body in various scenarios of traditional hybrid and remote classrooms. In addition to that, we have increased needs for new sanitation methods and equipment, additional health and safety supplies for our students and faculty, as well as the need to purchase many instructional and classroom items that we must have now in multiples that in past years could have been shared by several students in close proximity. Foundations, corporations, and major donors all ask the same question with every request they receive. What percentage of your parents, faculty, and board of trustees have contributed to your annual campaign? That number directly correlates with the amount of funding they are willing to grant us. In closing, I leave you with these two requests. One, please communicate with us if you are involved in any fundraising for the school in any way. And two, and much more importantly, please participate in our Mother Oak annual campaign as soon as possible. Remember, participation at any level counts towards our percentage, so your gift truly makes a difference. Information on how you can do that is on our website under the Supporting St. Luke's tab or simply by calling the school ask, asking for me, Diane McCleary, or Rebecca. 
Thank you and go Wildcats! Hi everyone, my name is Shelly Thompson. I'm the director of the After School Care Program. Please make sure to fill out your forms on Parent Preview Night for the After School Care. Even if you're planning on not using it, we would still like to have your child's information on file in case of emergencies. We do have a few new policies and procedures this year, so please read the form in detail. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to call the school or myself. And welcome to St. Luke's! Hi, my name is Stephen Wake. I'm the YDL director here on the Lower Campus. I handle all of our sports in grades K-3 through 5th grade. In a typical year, we would offer football, flag football, volleyball, cheerleading, basketball, soccer, cross country, and track and field. This year, after speaking with administration, we have decided to kind of take a wait and see approach. We're going to wait until the end of the first quarter and evaluate how we can return to sports as safely as possible for your kids. So more information should come then. If you have any questions, please call me at 251-533-2510. Thanks and have a great year. Hi parents, my name is Cheryl Brown. I'm the Food Service Director here at St. Luke's School and I'd like to take a moment of your time to explain our menu process this year. All students will be eating in their rooms until further notice. Our menus and our order forms are available through your student's teacher as well as on the website for St. Luke's School and also on paw prints. The order forms have a due date on them which is very important that they return to me by that due date to ensure your child is added to our monthly meal count. Please attach your check or go online to mypaymentsplus.com to add money to your child's account. If you have any questions, you may contact me through email or by phoning me. Thank you and have a nice day. Hey everyone, my name is Elizabeth Boone. I am the president of the Booster Club here at St. Luke's. I'm here tonight to give you a brief overview of what the Booster Club does for our student athletes and what you can do to help our students and our athletes here at St. Luke's. The Booster Club provides support to all our athletics from the kitty cats up to the varsity level. We recently had a, a major project at Japonica getting the bleachers in the gym. This has helped with our sporting events. It has also been used and utilized for Grandparents Day, for our Christmas sing-along, and all of other activities we have at the Japonica gym. We do many other things as well, but that's just one of our recent examples. Now, what can you do to help the Booster Club? We have kicked off our media guide campaign, so if you have a business that you'd like to advertise in our sports media guide, we'd love to hear from you. Another option is for any of you parents you can advertise a page for your child, give them a quick shout out, and have a page dedicated to just them in our media guide. All of our Kitty Cat and YDL sports from last year, they'll each have their pictures. The team pictures will be in the media guide, so we'd love for you to advertise and pick one up. The other thing is you can join our Booster Club. That will kick off in the next week or two. For $100, you can have a YDL membership for any families who have sixth graders and below only. You can get a family membership that will allow you free entry to all of our home athletic events. So look out for that. We hope everybody has a great year and we hope you will do what you can to help us have a great year for our students and athletes. Thanks. <laughs>